Today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Mattel DC Comics Multiverse Batman v Superman Batman. Batman, like the Superman that we've already had a look at, comes with a grapnel blaster replica piece that when you eventually get all eight figures, you can build your very own grapnel gun. Down below, we've got the picture of Superman, or excuse me, the picture of Batman down below. Again, I'm just not crazy on this, on the marketing artwork that they use for Batman v Superman. Just weird. I don't... Just not crazy about it. It looks like Batman comes with uh, just the display stand. I don't know. We'll see this when we get this opened up. Oh! Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! There's a read-up on the side, which I actually did not read up for uh, Superman. Fearing the actions of the godlike superhero uh, left unchecked, Gotham City's formidable, forceful vigilante takes on Metropolis' most revered modern-day savior, while the world wrestles with that sort of hero it really needs, and with Batman and Superman at war with one another, a new threat quickly arises, putting mankind in greater danger than it's ever known before. On the back, it can you can see the eight pieces that you will need to put together the Batman's grapnel blaster. So far with Superman, we got ourselves the handle, and it looks like Batman, we've got perhaps this piece here. The other figures available currently are Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Armored Batman, with another five to eight figures coming soon. You know what they could have also done, too, is instead of the Grapnel Blaster, they could have had a Build-A-Figure for Doomsday. I think that could have been a, a nice touch as well. Uh, Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up, but when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Batman v Superman, Batman. It's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. When we had a look at Superman, the first thing we had to look at was the build piece. So why don't we do that also with Batman. Batman comes fittingly enough with a bat emblem uh, display stand. It's not really much to be said for it. However, if you can take the already piece that we already had a look at with Superman, um, I guess these pieces just snap together. I'm assuming, yes, they only go one way. You'll take the little peg or this section here. This goes into the bottom and just snap the two together. And I think this should snap together. It's a snug fit. I don't know why this piece is not fitting. Hold on a second, hold on. Let's just do this off camera. Oh, you know what? Spot did have it the wrong way. See that little hole right there, that little peg? That peg goes on this side, so we want to have it going this way. I did actually have it the wrong way. Look at that. Look at Butterfingers here. Well, this is what we've got so far. We've got a handle. We've got part of a display stand. Trigger, by the way, does not work. It doesn't do anything. Um, you know, I I like that Mattel thought outside the box and didn't just give us a build-a-figure piece, but to be honest, I think I would have leaned a little bit better towards a build-a-figure maybe of Doomsday or something, versus a uh, grapnel gun. So that's what we've got so far. We still have to look at Armored Batman, and we also have to look at Wonder Woman, so we'll see how far along we progress. In the meantime, this is what we've got. Let's just put it to the side. Okay, so let's have a look at Batman. I was worried when I first saw this figure, um at least package art of this figure, because the first thing I thought of is I thought the color of the gray seems really off. Now that I have it in hand, I almost feel like I can confidently say the gray seems a little off. I think the issue is that it's not so much a matte gray, nor is it a dark gray like it appears in the movie. Instead, it's kind of got like this kind of pearlesque kind of sheen to it. It's also a little lighter than what I would have preferred, but there's something about the, the coloring that they went with that I'm not crazy about. Um, as it goes for Batman costumes, though, I'm really digging the fact that we've got, we're finally getting a gray-suited Batman versus so many times. Don't get me wrong, Spot loves the leather, the bat rubber suit that we've seen in all the movies. But I think it was time for a change. Not only were we getting Ben Affleck covering the mantle of the bat, but I think it was prime time to change up the look of it. So instead of the long ears, we now have short ears. 
Instead of an all black suit, now we have a gray suit. I really like it. Again, yeah, not crazy about how the figure seems to portray it, but I really like the costume as a whole, especially really digging the big bat emblem. I hope this is something that we're gonna get like t-shirts of. If we get like gray t-shirts with this giant bat emblem, I am totally gonna get like a dozen of them. And then I can wear them every day and then I've got extras just in case I don't do laundry at the end of the week. The cape is a little denser than Batman and Superman's cape, I should say. Um, luckily, it does not have the little fold where it kind of gets wedged in between Batman's legs. As for his face, it's kind of like what I would say about the Superman. And in fact, I did actually say this for the Superman. It's an okay face if you know what you're getting with the DC Universe, DC multi-use, uh, multiverse figures. Would I say it looks 100% like Ben Affleck? No, but I would say... It's not the Batman we deserve or the Batman that we need. It's the Batman that we end up getting or deserving. And I just feel like it could have been better, but you know what? It could have also been a lot worse. Uh, let's move off camera and grab in Superman. There's the differences between the two. Well, there's going to be obviously a drastic difference between the two. They complement each other well. Again, they don't look 100% like the actors or how they appear in the movie, but really... You know, when you're buying six inch figures, they're not gonna be perfect unless you're getting them from like a company like NECA or you're getting them as a hot toy. And then you're gonna be getting a more realistic, lifelike uh, figure. Uh, the, by the way, there's Superman again. Moving him off camera. It looks like they've kind of painted in a little bit of stubble to Super or to Batman's face. There's just a little bit of indication of a, like a gray area around the chin. The eyes are okay. The cowl seems like it's got this weird texture to it. I don't know what they were going with there. I guess it was kind of similar to what they wanted to do with the emblem. But it's weird because like the rest of his cape and cowl are all smooth. And yet he's kind of got the texture of a lime for his mask. So that's a little jarring, but you're not necessarily going to be seeing it up close. You know, probably going to be having him on display. It's also to note too that uh, Batman's arms or Batman hand is partially open though he does not come with any accessories the prime time to give this guy an accessory would have been right now but sadly this Batman does not come with an accessory uh, when it comes to his posability does have the ball joint head hinges up and down rotates left and right rotates forward on the arms or out on the arms forward and back He's got a swivel point on the bicep, a hinged elbow, which does not also rotate the forearm. It's just a straight bend elbow. elbow. Swiveled wrists. He's got the crunch in the torso, which Superman did not have, yet Batman does have a swiveled waist. And the tried and true DC Universe leg joint, which forward and back out. A swivel point on the mid thigh to low thigh area. A hinged knee. And finally a hinged foot. But Ball also, by, by the way, acknowledges the fact I totally botched that Dark Knight reference. Is it a perfect Batman? No. If you're looking for a six inch figure though, that's super realistic, I think this is as good as you're gonna get. It's not horrible, don't get me wrong, but I kind of wish like the, the coloring on the gray was just a little bit better. There's something off-putting to it. Uh, at least like looking at I wish it was just a little bit different. Maybe, I don't know if it's the sheen to it. There's something that throws me off of it. I still like the figure. And for a DC Universe figure, I think it's a pretty good Batman. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look at the DC Comics Multiverse Batman v Superman. We're looking today at Batman. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.